The Canon C70 has several ways to monitor exposure values. You have false color, you have waveform monitor, and you have zebras. And the zebras, you can dial in what you want your, uh, when your zebras to occur, if you want it for clipping, or if you want it for skin tones, whatever you want it to dial in IRE value-wise. Um, now, the false color has been the most accurate that I've noticed for, for, for my workflow. And you can see on my, uh, for uh, proper exposure, you're gonna get kind of like a light, or it depends on your monitor and what you're looking at. I'm looking at my computer monitor, that's how I'm running this feed in, but um, the right here is gonna be, uh, for properly exposed for me, it's gonna be a, a pink or a white, depending on, again, what you're monitoring on. Uh, and then the uh, light green is more of your 18% gray, uh, what, your, what the exposure would be on that. And then you have over here in the shadows, you have um, blue, and then areas that are really crushed, like a pinkish, purple color. I'm colorblind, so don't, don't, don't hold me to those colors. Uh, and then for overexposed uh, clipping, you have red. For the waveform monitor, on older EOS systems, uh, so the Canon 100, the Canon 200, or, or C100, C200, you have, uh, when you dial in your, your exposure values, you will clip at 100 IRE. And then for the skin tone values, at least for my skin tone values, uh, will be between 70 plus or 5 uh, or plus, I sorry, plus, plus or minus five IRE. But you can see here when I move my hand across the screen, I'm not getting anywhere near plus or five or a 70 plus or minus five IRE. I'm getting 40, between 40 to 55% IRE. And the same is also true for clipping. Um, when I go to uh, the my, my, my skin, I'm gonna move over so you can see something that's gonna clip. So I have these two little lights over here in the corner. And I'm gonna watch the waveform on it here as, it, as, as I start to move it. Right now it's starting at about 81, 82%. But as I bump this up, now you can see over here, it's starting to turn red. I'm gonna max this light out to 100% on its scale. And you can see that on the waveform monitor, I clip at about 85, 90% IRE. I'm not clipping at 100, which means this waveform monitor will not accurately match to the scaling of it, will not accurately match to that of older Canon EOS camera systems, uh, uh, the C100, C200. And so I was thinking it might be the DGO sensor, but then I ran my Atomos monitor through this camera. I'm gonna bring, get rid of the clipping there. I ran my, my uh, Atomos, uh, Atomos Shinobi through this, um, through the HDMI port and ran the waveform there. And my waveform monitor on that was clipping at 100. It was giving me my skin tones, my false color skin tones here at plus of uh, 70. <laughs> my kids in the background, sorry. Uh, 70 plus or five, uh, plus or minus five IRE. But it's not on this waveform. Now, Canon has said that they are going to be giving us an update on this this waveform monitor. Um, but that, as far as my understanding on that that update, it's supposed to allow us to access accessibility options in the menu system, so that we we can cl click on the waveform monitor to make it bigger. Because obviously, the Canon C70 has a very very small LCD screen. Wonderful LCD screen. Uh, image quality wise, not so much hinge, hinge wise, um, but being able to see a waveform monitor in its full view would be great, especially if we were gonna run this on like a gimbal. Um, so that update's huge, but they haven't mentioned anything about allowing us to adjust the scale of the waveform monitor. And I've, I've, I've done all the recent firmware updates to see if it's been uh, addressing this issue and so far I haven't. So Canon, if you're watching this, um, please uh, allow us to adjust the scale to match other camera systems within the Canon's uh, EOS C eco cinema ecosystem, ecosystem, e <laughs> ecosystem, so that we, we can run um, waveform monitors on all the cameras and match our settings. And right now, right with, with the current waveform monitor scaling with it, it's, it's not allowing us to get there. And now, so the same holds true. If I try to use zebras, I have to now match my zebras to this waveform monitor as well. Um, because that's how the zebras are coming out. The false color is coming out and, and matching my other monitors, but it's not for the zebras. So let's go ahead and switch over to, I'm gonna get rid of false color here. Boom, there we go, false color is out. It might look a little bit, the color might look a little bit off because I'm running again, running this out through my computer and recording on the um, on uh, OBS Studios so that way we can see all the, all the tools and stuff here going. Uh, so if it's running out, it looks like the color looks off. My computer system's not running color as accurately as my my, in my camera is. Um, if someone can explain why it does that, I, I would I would love to know that. But anyways, I'm gonna go to my zebra values. Oh, I need to find, find that zebra. Where is the zebras? There we go. All right, so I'm running with this in front of me. All right, there we go. All right, so I have my zebras currently programmed to being um, 
my zebras are currently at 70 plus or five minus IRE. And you can see the areas that are currently in zebras. So since I, 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 I registered these for skin tone values, not for clipping, um, I have a separate one for that, um, but we're just gonna look at the ones for the skin tone values. You can see right now, the areas that are in zebras, when I switch back to false color, boom, we have pink areas, we have uh, green areas, we have gray areas, and that area for the zebras are covering both of those. So I'm able to match that. So the system's actually reading my skin tone as that being the proper level exposure. But when we clip here, again, everything's about uh, between 10 to 15 IRE off from the other the other cameras in the e ecosystem. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Canon, give us an update so we can match them out. At least allow us to adjust the scaling of it. So if there's no way to actually adjust the internal firmware options, because I don't want to, in one camera ecosystem, have my clipping. I'm gonna bring this up. Oop. I'm grabbing the wrong camera. What, what light am I grabbing now? Oh, there it is, okay, there we go. Oh, I'm not on false color, there we go. That's why, hey, there we go. <laughs> I don't want my, my lights to clip at 90, 85, 90% IRE on one camera. And then on the other camera, then be clipping at 100. I don't want my skin tone values on one camera to be registering at uh, 45, or say 45, 50, plus or five minus IRE, uh, and, and one camera and 65, 65 to 75% IRE on another camera. I would like to be able to match these together. So if it's not something that can be adjusted in camera, maybe it could be adjusted just on the scaling values on how the cameras how, on, our, on our waveform monitors and, and zebras and how we can actually, um, we can just go into a dial, accessibility dial, so we can match the cameras among systems because otherwise we're just gonna have to run through separate monitoring systems. And again, through the Atomos Shinobi, I'm getting, getting the same readings from this camera as I do in the other cameras ecosystems on, register, on, on the, the scales but it's just not coming through on this one. So uh, I don't know what it is about the Canon uh, C70's monitoring options that are that are, that are are ma making this happen. So anyways, if you didn't know that was an issue, now you do. Uh, currently, your monitoring options, your best level f to monitor exposure is gonna be with um, false color. It's gonna give you the most dynamic room because ideally on this right here, we should be able to fill out this waveform from zero to 100. Um, 100 being clipping, zero being totally crushed shadows. Um, but right now we're not. Um, right now it's everything's really starting to just get really like you have to really start to overexpose stuff to be able to get this waveform filled out, and I, I find that to be problematic. So um, if you do have uh, a if you have been running with your zebras at 70 plus or five minus IRE on this Canon C70, you might want to dial those back to 45 plus or five minus but 45. 45 plus or minus five IRE. There you go. Uh, around that ballpark. Let's, uh, I can even double check on my menu system. Let me go to my menu system and uh, let's go to our, oops. I'm having to do all this stuff from the back here. So it's a little bit hard for me to grab. So, um, all right, there we go. We got our, our monitoring system here and we go to, um, there we go. Yeah, 45. There we go. So Zebra 1, I have, Listed at 45 plus or five plus five percent. <laughs> I can't speak today. 45 plus or minus five percent IRE for uh, skin tone values and for clipping. I have 85 percent for uh, before. So before it clips, uh, I start to get a warning. So it's not showing me zeros at it clipping, but right before it's clipping. So um, I hope that helps somebody who's uh, learning about their camera system, uh, Canon C70. Uh, and if you uh, like this um, little tutorial here, I'm gonna go ahead go to a, a normal look here. If you liked this or got use out of this uh, information, please like and subscribe to help the channel out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.